from broken to going very fast. This is quick shot of video of the Roosevelt High School traditional Texas Critters float that has on it everything from a chupacabra to an owl to even Bigfoot. They went by us very quickly during the break. Now to the Taste of the Morning San Antonio Zulu Association. And you may hear Prince Purple Rain playing in the background for obvious reasons, the pop music icon found dead yesterday at the age of 57. And they're paying tribute to him today. And we did hear breaking news during the parade that the autopsy did not show any signs of foul play. Uh, uh, at this point, at this no point. obvious signs of trauma, but of they're trauma. waiting for results, yes. So, but as they were going by, Taste of New Orleans, family family ce celebration featuring scrumptious Cajun and Creole taste with treats and music to match. San Antonio Zulu Association, they having a good old time there. And again, celebrating the life and music of Prince. Next up, we've got some military vehicles, and why not? 2016 military ambassadors in a big old Humvee. Military Civilian Club established 93 years ago promotes camaraderie between the military and all of us civilians. And that's kind of important, isn't it? Yes. Military ambassadors represent each branch of the armed services. Each military service has a selection process where they choose a female and a male representative to the city of San Antonio. And throughout the year, the 10 military ambassadors represent their service and Joint Base San Antonio at events all over South Texas. That includes nearly 50 activities associated with Fiesta. And among our ambassadors on board, U.S. Marine Corps Sergeant Don Cassiano, second time appearing in Battle Flowers. She also appeared back in 2012. And we so appreciate all of our service members and all that they do for our great country. Absolutely. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and of course the U.S. Coast Guard play pivotal roles in the defense of our nation and the homeland. And the civilian president, did you mention the civilian president? Debbie Long Shirley and military president Gail Hathaway. Very good, ma'am. Now coming up in just a moment, which I want to just get you prepared for, we have another one of our fabulous floats. It's another court float, mm -hmm. and in the very front, you're going to see Caroline Grace Howard. She is the Duchess of Captivating Allure. Ooh. Her, I know, it's very fancy. <laughs> Caroline's train represents Aphrodite, the Greek goddess of love and beauty, and she is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Mark Shannon Howard. In the middle, we have Elizabeth Hollins Crowley. She's from Austin. She's the Duchess of Universal Truths. Her train portrays, okay, I can't remember how to say this. I remember studying it. Oh, wait a minute. You're the one who always tells me. Pythagoras. So let's Pythagoras. Pythagoras. Thank Pythagoras, you. Like critical the Pythagorean thinker, theorem, right? Yeah, I was thinking about it. He yeah. was a critical <laughs> thinker and philosopher. He's considered one of the most important men of science, Pythagoras. Yes, and she's the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Tim Crowley. And at the top is Marguerite Marcella Mannix, the Duchess of Iconic Landscapes. Her train portrays the iconic images of Greece's towns and villages nestled snugly against her rocky hillsides. Marguerite is the daughter of Mrs. Francie Mannix. Caroline Howard. And Elizabeth Crowley from Austin and Marguerite Mannix. Look at that one there. Uh, that captures the flavor. When you think of the Greek islands, Mykonos, oh, yes. Santorini, you think of those beautiful white buildings, those sun bleached buildings. When you, it looks like a picture mm -hmm. it, or a painting or something that would be on the side of a building. And this is one of the trains for a dress. And it's simple blue and white, but it's still absolutely picturesque. The little uh, accents of silver there. Absolutely beautiful, just stunning. Oh, show us your shoes! Yay! More boots. More boots. I think they all wear boots. Yeah, That's I, mean, the I tradition. remember when it used to be flip flops or flats or whatever, but now it, it seems it's, like it's pretty much uniformly boots. Yeah, the last few years it has been. Oh, look my. at the Edison Golden Bear Band from Thomas Edison High School at SAISD. We just got to hand it over to them. Watch and listen. School marching band from Thomas Edison High School. 92 members strong, a flat core of a dozen. Military 
dress style uniforms in black and gold. Lots of spirit, lots of energy, lots of pep. Edison High School. Next up, after this, and things are really moving along now, folks. We're the reaching yellow, the end. We're getting close. The Yellow Rose of Texas Lobeo Women's Association, founded in 1993 by Amelia Garza. This is their float. They're a group of 20 professional businesswomen. They volunteer their time, provide $100,000 a year in scholarships to students attending colleges and universities within the San Antonio community. And the scholarships are provided through fundraising events. They provide room and board for college for a St. PJ's child as well. And it is their third year participating in the parade. Their participants, Elizabeth Trevino, their queen, Debbie Munoz, their president, and Emilio Garza, who we already mentioned, is their founder. The Lobeo Women's Association providing so much. Oh, look at those boots. I love those boots. Now those. That's a lot of bling. Somebody's bedazzled the heck out of those. That is it, yes. Mm -hmm. Very bedazzled. Oh, she's got a sunburn. I feel a little bad for her on that one. Yep, we knew that was coming, didn't we? Yeah, there's going to be a lot of sunburns because we have serious sunshine today, which is a blessing, though, because we saw the rain we had earlier in the week. Now, that's a hat or... That's a flowered headdress, headdress I okay. think, yes. Yeah, the butterflies are going. It's beautiful. Very springy. Very, very springy, very Texas. All right, a Texas tradition, Last Chance Ministries. Last Chance Ministries was founded in 2010, starting with 100 children from the Sahel communities. Now serves over 600 underprivileged children in surrounding communities, still growing all the way up to Austin. That's right. They started with baseball, but now have several sports, including basketball, soccer, flag football, and cheerleading against Last Chance Ministries. Eight students from each of the eight housing projects are carrying the flags with the cheer team in the front and, and now coming up we have the image dance company and academy their float it's a lot of new orleans here today it's it fat sure tuesday is. It this is, is your department take it away laissez les bancs dans rouler mardi gras and there you see the mardi gras masks on the front traditional mardi gras colors which is perfect for fat tuesday the image dance company and academy has been serving the city of san antonio since 1991 under the direction of michelle and pacheco Offering classes in ballet, folklorico, flamenco, Spanish classical, belly dance, jazz, hip-hop, ballet, modern and ballroom for students ages two at all, beginning at age two, and at all skill levels. I love watching those dancers at two. The little bitty ones, they are so cute. They don't really know the routines all the way, but they're so fun to watch. Oh, they are fun to watch. Look at them. Let's Go. listen to them. participated in the parade since 1994. That is 22 years they have been coming out to entertain all of the people of San Antonio and surrounding areas. Another vigorous performance. I mean, they were working their hearts out out there, aren't they? Dancing and dancing. Oh, I hear a band, and this is the Harlandale High School. Million this, dollar band from Indian Land. That's right, Harlandale High School's million dollar band from Indian Land. Uh, consistent UIL first division and sweepstakes. Let's listen. That fight song is popular. It is. I've heard it maybe <laughs> three or four five, times. Yeah, a few times. <laughs> At today. least, yeah. So, <laughs> that is the horse, yes. 120 members strong, flag core 14. Again, we're listening to Harlandale High School marching band. San Antonio German Club, you should take this one, sir. <laughs> 2015 San Antonio Debutants, they were established way back in 1880, one of the oldest social organizations in 
the country. There's my Dalmatian. There, you finally got your Dalmatian. Each year since 1881, excluding the Warriors, the German club has sponsored and presented San Antonio debutantes to San Antonio society. They are on a 1939 Red Ford Model T truck. And you are seeing on there the 2015 debutantes. That does not look like a 1939 Model T truck. That is a big old red fire truck, so we're going to leave it at that. <laughs> oh, here's another one that you're going to absolutely love. Oh, yeah, look at that. Looks like a big old C-17 balloon out there. This is from our friends at Boeing. The first 100 years. This is actually their first year in the parade. What a great balloon. They are the world's largest aerospace company, leading manufacturer of commercial jet lines and defense space and security systems. So very appropriate to have a big, giant Air Force plane balloon. Yeah, this year was Boeing celebrating 100 years of being in business. They were founded July 15th of 1916. And speaking of C-17s, you see them fly in and out of Joint Base San Antonio, Lackland now and then. Those planes are amazing, aren't they? Yes, they They're are. They're so big. I but, hear more bands coming. Yes, another big band. This is a- uh, High School. The Mighty Eagle Band. They are the oldest public school marching band in San Antonio. They've had numerous UIL sweepstakes awards, concert sight reading, marching awards for all of it, and TMEA area honor band finalists. Here's Brackenridge High School marching band. start moving in just a minute, but 150 members strong. The flags you see out there in front, right behind their banner, 10 members. Director of Bands is Alfonso Alvarado, the mighty Eagle marching band from Radford High School, which of course is part of the San Antonio Independent School District. Their uniforms, as you can see, purple top and black bottoms. Once again, smart to wear shorts. Them. You see all that energy? They were in the band festival last night. They're in this one today. They're in the King William Parade tomorrow and the Flambeau Parade tomorrow night. Unbelievable. Next up, we've got another Float Texas Folk Festival. This is the Alamo City Dance Company, this first is, participating in the parade this, this is year. This first time yeah. this year, but they were founded quite a while back, back in 1992, celebrating their 24th season of dance. They present approximately 100 dancers and 160 roles in their annual Nutcracker. They perform for underprivileged children. They perform at military bases, retirement communities, local schools, and offer a learning environment for students pursuing that dancing career. We've really started to compact our, our floats and our bands together. Right behind them, the Minutemen Band of Memorial High School, which is a part of Edgewood ISD. Listen in. Once again, this is Memorial High School with Edgewood ISD. Director Major there, Edward Hernandez. And there you see the cheerleaders and the pep squad. They promote school spirit within the school as well as the community. Got another banner from Memorial High School. Their theme for their floats coming up is traditional Texas fairs. And boy, do we have a bunch of fairs oh my in goodness. this big old state. From funnel cakes to deep fried Snickers bars, 
have never met a Texas Country Fair food that they didn't like. Prize winning pies, cakes, jams, jellies, yeast breads. I am so hungry right now. They compete with steers, lambs, hogs, chickens, and goats for Texas top honors. And folks get their fill of fun spinning and shooting high into the air on the thrilling midway rides. A day at the fair is a Texas memory to last a lifetime. So dancing to the iconic song, Our State Fair, from the musical by Rogers and Hammerstein, and showcasing traditional Texas fairs. Memorial High School, another beautiful float. That's very Texas. Sure is. Oh, the, the ring toss. Have you ever gotten anything on the ring toss? Never. Me either. Cheated. I think so, too. It's rigged. We've got another float here. Our friends at La Macho Economy Market, they're titled Tejano Music, which is a big part of the fabric of this community. They've been doing this for about six years now, taking part in the parade. Meat Market was founded in 1986. Listen up. Go, Spurs, go! Go, Spurs, go! So La Bicho kind of Meat Market, the largest independent Hispanic grocery store chain in the country. They offer quality meats and prepared to your order. The store offers a department of authentic dishes, bakery, and produce. That's the Del Valley High School proud Cardinal Band. Let's listen to them. Wow, we are on fast forward we now, aren't are we? We are moving on now to the Military Civilian Club. Military Civilian Club fosters patriotism, as you would expect. It integrates military and civilian communities. You know, we hear a lot about scholarships, about a lot of these organizations that raise funds, and they do as well. They provide scholarships for military families, and they also offer military ambassador program for Fiesta and support military families. And they are dropping off a wreath. They are riding aboard a 1929 Greed Ford Model A pickup truck, which is owned by the Texas Transportation Museum. And here's something pretty impressive. They have participated in the parade for 88 years. They've been doing this, the Battle of Flowers Parade, since 1925. Debbie Long Shirley is their president. It's the Rose Festival. This is the Military Civilian Club of San Antonio. All right, moving on now to the Hope for the Future Catholic Schools of San Antonio. Their title, Spanish Missions. Hope for the Future was founded by business and civic leaders in 2006 to give tuition assistance to children in need who want to attend Catholic school. Hope is currently helping 2,200 children attend Catholic schools. There are 43 Catholic schools in and around San Antonio. That includes Del Rio, Floresville, New Braunfels, and Seguin. And Catholic schools have a 99% graduation rate. That is pretty impressive. They believe forming the whole child, including education of the mind, body, and soul, is what's the most important. Well, I tell you what, we started out, the afternoon has absolutely flown by, sure and has. we're not quite done yet. No, we're not. We've got another special coming up with Jeff and Fiona. A lot more to talk about about Fiesta. And don't forget, everybody, we have Flambeau tomorrow. And we have a special tomorrow on that one as well. So please keep it right here on KSAT. Viva Fiesta. Thanks so much. And to our entire crew behind the scenes here at KSAT, thank you so much for all their hard work. The 2016 Fiesta and Battle of Flowers, our post-parade special, is v coming up. Viva Fiesta, everybody. Have a great day and a great weekend. We will see you next year.